Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog. This week, well, I'm at Justine's because I'm a, a little special surprise for Ember today and there might be a little clue whoop, in the background, but I think we'll wander over and say a big hello to Sophie from Sperling Saddles here. Hiya. Hello, and Sophie is a saddler and today she's going to come and help me and Ember find our perfect saddles. So I say saddles because it's not one saddle, it's two. We're going for a dressage and a jump saddle today. Hi Sophie, I'm say hi to the vlog, give a little wave to the vlog here. I work for Albion, so I'm the Albion Saddle Fitter. So I'm here today to fit Ember. So we're going to look at some dressage and some jump saddles. So here in Sophie's van <laughs> of treats, we've got many, many Albion saddles. Now the thing that I really like about Albion is that they're handmade in the factory here in the UK. And in Birmingham. Is that a good accent? That's good accent. In Birmingham. Um, so, and look, we've got a whole selection here. Sophie's literally got all of the stock room in here. Well, I don't know if you do actually, but look. This is very organised. I'm really enjoying it. All of these things. Is that all your fitting tools there? Fitting tools. So we can flock on site. So flock on site. Yeah, any alterations, any adjustments the saddles need, we can do flocking on site. Yeah. Um, obviously, any kind of wear and tear, so replacement girth straps and stuff, we can do on yeah. site. Um, as you probably know, the Albion saddles, the majority are an adjustable saddle. So we've got a couple here that are on the adjuster tree, and we've got a couple that are on the platinum tree as well. So um, again, we can literally get a very bespoke fit to make Yeah. So these t these are off the peg, as it were, guys. So, yeah. so these Sophie's... are our demo saddles. Yeah. So what we'll do demos is we'll fit the horse to get the correct tree shape. Obviously, we'll discuss any panel, um, if we need to change any panels on them. Um, and also, we're obviously fitting Lucy today, so make sure that the seat for Lucy is perfect. So I've got majority of these will be a 17 and a half in a medium wide fitting. Um, you might see later on that if we fit and try them, we'll pop some pads under. This is just to get a fitting idea so we can make sure Sure what Ember's preference is, what he goes the best in, and obviously what Lucy feels the most balanced in as well. As Sophie mentioned, it's not just about fitting the horse, it's also about fitting me. Now, before uh, Sophie came out today, I had to tell her how tall I was, how much I weighed, and um, just so that you can, and also what I'm riding in at the moment, so my, my saddle measurements, so that she kind of has a rough idea. And then obviously about the horse, how high, how high Ember is, how tall Ember is, how many hands, and how much he weighs as well, and what I'm riding him in. So, uh, yeah, so Piggy is um, going to give us all a van tour today, aren't you? Hi guys, welcome to Sophie's van. So, I'm in here because I just wanted to have a little nose, basically I'm just being really nosy. Okay, let's start under her. Here we go. Here we've got the flocking. Yeah, so this is Jacob's wool. <laughs> this is Jacob's wool, and it's brown and it smells weird. <laughs> I don't know why it smells weird. We've got another type here, which is, that's, is that synthetic? So, yeah, that's synthetic. So that feels so different, obviously. obviously. So why would you use a white wool as opposed to the Jacobs wool? So it depends on what the saddle currently has in. We yeah. wouldn't ever mix wool because they're different textures and densities. So you always want to flock with exactly the same. So right. you'd obviously never mix, for example, a Jacobs wool with a synthetic wool okay. or with a white wool. Are these what you shove the flocking in with? Pretty much, these are my flocking irons. So you can see <gasps> I've got... Oh my God, look, they've got little <laughs> tiny like prongy things on the end. So I've got... Is to like fluff it up? <laughs> it's to push it through, yeah, pretty much where it needs to go. So you've got different lengths, um, different angles on my flocking irons and my masher you've got there. Yeah, what is this? That so looks that is very peculiar. <laughs> <laughs> so we basically will soften a panel or mash down any flock to make sure that it's completely smooth, there's no lumps um, basically through the panel. Wow, that's fascinating. And this, okay, I'm sitting on Sophie's workbench, which she works on, so imagine this, guys. She comes in, she's got the saddle. Is this what you do? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Without the bump shot. <laughs> What are you feeling for? So basically I'm feeling see if there's any tight spots, any lumps, bumps, spasms or any basically areas he's blocked or could be potentially sore. Yeah. I'm also looking at like you can see on this side you've got a couple of rub marks where you don't on that side. Yeah. So okay. for me I'd obviously be saying that saddle's potentially going over to one side. Okay. <laughs> This is our template pad, so we're going to do 
full template of his back. Um, again, just for my records and see if there's any asymmetries within his back. Um, and then basically what we would do is use it as a record so when we manage to maintain him, we can see how he fluctuates and how he changes. Um, as I've already noticed, it's a little bit asymmetric to one side. So we'll probably see that in the template. And then over time, hopefully with correct saddle fit training, he becomes slightly more level. So you do it at three points on the back then? Four points. Four points, yeah. Four points. So we do two inches behind the scapula. Yeah. That allows for the two inch rotation. Yeah. So that's where the point sits on his back. Then we do four inches behind, which is the broadest point of basically the weather. And then we do T18, which is the last thoracic rib that establishes the length of the saddle. Ooh, wow. So basically where you're sitting as a rider, it's the rib cage that obviously supports us. So yeah. we don't want to fit anything too long because then the horse can become sore and you're into soft tissue. So you're going to basically cause a problem. Um, the last one is basically just over his back. So we get a good idea of obviously how much weather the horse does or doesn't have and then obviously their shape. So for him, he's probably got what I class as a medium weather. Got a little bit of atrophy, so he's just got a little bit of top line to improve, but again, that's coming with the Yeah, <laughs> we're work, working <laughs> on that, exactly. aren't we, Amber? So okay. I wouldn't, I, you know, he's not, he's not bad at all, it's just one of those things. Again, knowing that he's having a changing career, um, he's actually really not too bad. They yeah. tend to be really creep high. Yeah. The X-Racers, um, again, really downhill on the forehand. Uh, and really, really short-packed. It yeah. tends to be a little bit of a nightmare to be honest. Yeah, it doesn't sound ideal. <laughs> but he's actually got a good amount of wither and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So what are we going to start with? Definitely going to start with a contact light. Okay. Um, if you, do you prefer more close contact? I know you said money flat, but as in like not a lot of seat, or do you prefer like deeper seat? What's your preference? I don't. I, I'm fine with not a lot of seat Perfect. to be honest. We'll go with the Dallas rhythm. Because he's had no seat ever. Have you, Ember? <laughs> and currently, you use what padding do you use in the side? Um, a poly pad yeah. um, at the moment. <laughs> Dressage saddle. And um, what's your thoughts? Um, just a little. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. like, oh my god. Um, so basically, at the moment, obviously, as I'm off the peg, we're really, really nice in the front. So we've got a really nice contact. The width is really good. Your heights and clearances are really good. Saddle's set in quite nice balance. But at the moment, obviously, you've got a little bit of a lift in here. Right, okay. Um, so that's just, again, a, a, a panel issue, really, more yeah. so. Um, what I'm feeling for into the panel again is we've had a little bit of flock added, um, but it'll be really good to have it actually look at have a ride in this one. But otherwise, it looks quite nice. Yeah. And in balance. So this is the Fabrento, which is the saddle which I've seen the most actually, the dressage saddle from Albion. It's got these huge knee blocks here, and it looks very smart, doesn't it, Ember? What does that one feel like? Really nice. Just again, a yeah. little bit wide at the front yeah. again hasn't had the panel flops or sorted yeah okie dokie so i've got my bridal on and i'm meeting sophie down at the arena hello because we're going to have a bit of a play in some of the saddles that we've tried so far okay so the first saddle that i'm going to be trying is the contact light with the jump saddle um, and Sophie, I saw you just put in some little blocks here. Yeah. So are they removable all the time? Yep, so these are Velcro blocks, so you've got a knee and a thigh roll. Yeah. So obviously we can angle those and position them where it's comfortable for the rider. So each rider obviously can have different positioning. Yeah. There's obviously different lengths of legs, support yeah. needs in different areas. This has no effect on the saddle fit at all, it's just purely for the rider. Perfect, well there you go. Heard it from the professional. Um, and then we've got a pro light on here at the moment, just because obviously this is off the peg. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it hasn't been fitted to him yet, but I think first impressions looks really good at the start. Okay. Ooh. Right, I need to get on now, don't I? This is my mountain block, so. <laughs> I guess it was the imbalance of my old saddle, which was kind of pushing me, well, it was tilted backwards, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So actually now that like, I've had a walk round in it and I feel like I'm 
straight. <laughs> and I haven't felt like that for, I thought I was straight before, but now I know what straight feels like. <laughs> it's actually really weird, but it's so lovely. So, but no, it's very good first impressions. I th I'll, I'll have a little trot and see what you guys <laughs> I guess the love child of the K2. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, Sophie says it's more like a lot more saddle than the one that I've just ridden in. Um, yeah, I think it's I think it's nice. So I've only walked in it. I don't know. I'm leaning. My first impressions. I'm leaning more towards the other one. Yeah. But that's because what I'm used to. But I'll have a trot and a counter and I'll see see what see what we feel. Yeah. I think. I think he's just excited because we've done one jump. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I'll stop. Dressage saddle and oh, Justine and Rachel have come to have a look too. Um, and this is the Fabrento, and I'm on the very last hole of my jump leathers, and they still need to go down a couple, I think, but I can't go down any further because I'm on the last hole. Um, I don't think he's ever been in a dressage saddle before. I think this is his, well, it will have been his first time, won't it? First time in a dressage saddle, so I feel very smart. I said channeling my inner William Fox Pit here. Does it look <laughs> on my legs by his knees? No, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> Just on the circle, take a little half hold. How does it feel? Really good. Yeah. Okay, so lastly, we've got. Stand. SLK dressage saddle, which is a double. Do you call it a double flap? Dual flap. Dual, sorry. Yeah. It's a dual, not a double flap, a dual flap. Um, and Rachel's, I just said there's no knee blocks, but obviously Rachel's just pointed out that they're underneath. underneath. <laughs> Here they are. <laughs> See? So um, it's, it's so soft. What's this? Is it like. So that'll be calf skin on the knee roll, yeah. and then we use different hides, obviously, for your flaps. Yeah. Oh. It feels less dressage than the other one, in the sense that the, it's not got the huge knee blocks, but it's still, I don't know. It, it, it's bizarrely, it, it, because of what I'm used to, I prefer the look of that one. Yeah. But it, 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 it's completely irrelevant but you have got your to... you have got your knee block but it's hidden underneath it, yeah isn't it? yeah so, so it's, it's just more it's hidden, all hidden. Yeah. but it's all down to what you prefer riding we're going very fast so i'll just think rise slowly
Right, okay, so we've picked the saddles that I want, and I'm so excited. Sophie's given the whole approval, and now it's time for the fun bit, and that is the, I guess it's what, personalization, do you call it? Yeah, bespoke. Bespokeness. Um, so we've got these swatches here, and in these swatches are a whole array of different colors, also different materials. There's like some patenty ones, some like leather, I don't know, what's that leather? This one's got proper like pretty pattern embroidery. Oh my God, look at my filthy nails. Ignore those guys. Um, so I'm now going to go through with Sophie and we're gonna have a little talk and decide what is the best option. But I've, I think I've got something <laughs> in mind, but I'm not gonna tell you because it's gonna be a surprise for when it arrives. But uh, the fact that you can have these options of personalization bespoke element to it. So these, I guess the, the bright colors would go on the piping, you know, and then maybe leave a comment below. What do you think I've got in mind? What, what could it be? Oh. That was a fantastic day. And I think Ember thoroughly enjoyed his saddle fitting. So thank you so much. You're Sophie. very welcome. Um, so guys, I guess I should also possibly explain that I am so lucky and very, very, very grateful to be coming on board with Albion as a new brand ambassador, which is so exciting. And uh, I can't wait to work with their lovely team. And hopefully it's going to help with our success in our eventing career. Cause now Ember's got a dressage saddle and a jump saddle. Really, he's got no excuse, has he? No, nope, not anymore. So, so make sure you go and check out Albion across socials. Go and check them out. Visit the website as well. Have a look at the saddles that I've gone for. What would you go for? What would you pick? Anyway, if you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Keep up to date with the action. Like, leave me a comment, and uh, see you guys soon. Say bye. See you later. Bye. bye.